welcome to Michelle Sews again. I'm Michelle. Today I am going to share with you my view, my experience, my thoughts on the Donnie shirt from Friday Pattern Company. If that sounds interesting to you, then please stay tuned. Okay, so <clears throat> I have made two of the Friday Pattern Company Donnie shirt. I'll get to the second one in a minute. Um, this is my first one. So the Donnie shirt, I'll insert some line drawings here as well, is just, it's a boxy fit crop top with a high low hem. Um, it's got this really great open uh, neckline that goes into a V um, and short sleeves. Um, and it does have a pattern, a pocket um, pattern piece. So um, yeah, this is, it's just a basic woven top with the exception of the collar. It does have a back yoke that you gather your back piece into, which I really like that feature. Um, and so that's the basic style. Based on my measurements, I made the 1X and it came out super short. So um, this one I've already kind of adjusted because um, it was so short, but I'm gonna, I'm going to become very vulnerable right now. So please, no harsh comments in the, in the uh, comment section. Um, but this came out super duper short. So um, I've already added a piece in the middle. So this is how short it came out. You can see and it hits me um, where there's plenty of belly hanging out. So I went in and I added a two inch strip all the way around. I got some great feedback from you guys when I first mentioned this pattern and the issue that I had with the length. I wasn't going to show you how short it was on me, but I figure it might be helpful to some of you to see how short it comes out. Um, I was thinking of doing like a coordinating or a complementary fabric. Um, I really wasn't loving that idea and several of you mentioned just to use the same fabric. So I did have enough of the ice dye fabric left over that I just put a strip all the way through the middle. It's I cut it three inches wide so that I could have a half inch seam allowance on either side and just put it in the middle all the way around so that the hemline stayed the same. So you can see with that two inches from the front, this looks really cute. Like it looks like it's a good length. The um, back is actually perfect. However, again, I'm gonna be vulnerable here, so keep your comments nice. When I turn to the side, this is what I don't like. I have this bottom puffy belly. And when shirts hit me at my belly button, cause this is where my belly button is, then that bottom poofy belly pokes out and you can see it from the side. So like I said, from the front, <laughs> it looks adorable. I absolutely love this ice dye. I think I mentioned it once already. This is one color, you guys. It's called Dragon's Egg. It's from Dharma Trading Company and it's split into all these gorgeous turquoise, orange, yellow, rust. It's just gorgeous, I love it. Um, so I'm really happy with how the fabric came out. I have worn this a few times. I wear it at home. If I wear it out, I wear it at home when I'm on my work calls. So I am wearing it to work. Um, I have not worn it out of the house yet. Um, I am not sure what I'll do about that um, because I don't want to not wear this top out of the house because I love every single thing about it except for this length right here. Um, so that is my first one. Hold one second and I'll show you my second one. Okay, so here's my second one. I added two inches to the pattern piece. The reason that I only added two inches is because I was cutting that fabric and that pattern piece out before I added the strip to the other one. So I hadn't realized that it was insufficient when I cut this out. Um, so I am not sure what I'm gonna do, because again, I mean, it hits me at a good length when you're looking at it from the front, but it's in the exact same spot, obviously, so I'm not caring for the side view, um, but this is the view from the back. 
<clears throat> so you can see that it fits me everywhere else. It's just the length is just way too short. So I advise you if you want to make the Donnie shirt, again, super cute pattern. I advise, I recommend the pattern. I advise you to measure the front shirt piece um, and add whatever length you need to get it to hit you in a spot that you're comfortable with because we all have different levels of comfort, right? So yeah, um, I, I used, this is a K facet quilting cotton. His quilting cottons are made by Free Spirit Fabrics, which are a much nicer quality, um, very garment friendly quality versus some of the quilting cottons that you get from Joanne. And isn't this print just me? Isn't it just fabulous? It's kind of like a turquoisey background, hot pink flowers with red and purple and some green in there. And I just love this color combo. So this is my second version and I love both of them. So I'll be wearing both of them on my Zoom calls for work on a regular basis. Oh, my hair. Um, but until I figure out what I wanna do about the length on the front, um, I'm not sure about outside. I do not want to add a ruffle. It's not the vibe that I'm going for. Um, I could, I guess, add yet another band in the middle. I don't hate how that looks, so maybe I'll take that one out. I don't think I have enough fabric to make a wider band on that ice dye one. I have enough fabric of this to do a band. I'm not sure it would look quite as cute as it did in the ice dye because that is such a random print anyway. I don't know if that would just look choppy in this one. So not really sure what I'm gonna do about this one because I do wanna wear it. I'd love your thoughts. Tell me what you would do if it was your shirt and it came out too short. Um, and yeah, the reason this one came out short is just me being a numbskull. I should have measured instead of eyeballing because I eyeballed the first one and I'm like, ah, two inches should be good. The measuring tape in my eyeball is not very accurate. So um, let's sit down and talk about all the other stuff with the pattern. Okay, so as I mentioned in the beginning, the Donnie shirt is a boxy woven top. It is cropped, let's see, do they say that? It's a dartless top with a lapel collar and a patch pocket. It's a great everyday top, I agree with that. It can be worn with basically anything. Because of its boxy silhouette, the Donnie is comfortable but still cool. Pair it with jeans or a skirt, layer it over or under a dress, the sky's the limit. I agree with all of that. The Donnie shirt is um, designed for woven fabric. They recommend any sort of light to medium weight woven. Um, if you choose a fabric like a mid weight twill or denim, you will get a more structured top. If you choose a drapier fabric like rayon chalet or silk, you'll get a blousier top. There are seven pattern pieces to this pattern. There's the front piece where you cut two. There's the back piece that's cut on the fold. There's the back yoke, which you cut two of because you're going to do the burrito method. Um, there is a sleeve, there's a facing, there's a collar and a pocket. And that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. What I find interesting is in their description under fit notes, they say it's a boxy top that there's no shaping through the waist and hips. It is slightly cropped. Well, I guess that depends on your definition of crop. To me, it's very cropped um, because even adding two inches, to me, I would still call this cropped. Um, <laughs> their one recommendation is that if you lengthen the top to fit over your hips, that you'll need to make sure that the hip, the finished hip measurement um, is enough to get over your hips. So my current measurements are 48 and a half, 43 hip, 50, sorry, 43 waist, 50 hip. The finished size measurement of the 1X is 55 all the way down. So the chest, waist, and hip measurement for the finished garment measurement is the same all the way down because it is a boxy, no non-shaped 
blouse if or top. If you prefer a little bit of shaping, then you might want to do some grading um, or something like that. It's not designed for that, but you could easily put a little bit of shaping into the waist and have it kind of scoop in a little bit if that's your preference. So to me, they do have finished garment measurements for the length, but it's the back length. It's not the front length. And it is a high-low hem, so isn't it? Or is that just because of my boobs? No, it's a high-low hem um, because I'm holding this up without my boobs in it, and the front is definitely shorter than the back. For all sizes, you need about a half a yard of interfacing. Um, for 45-inch wide fabric, you need anywhere from 1.3 to 2 yards for, sorry, 1.4 to 2.2 yards. For 54 to 60 inch wide fabric, you need 1.2 to 1.9 yards. All of the seam allowances are 3 8 inch except for the collar, which is a quarter inch. That's, the quarter inch collar is normal, the 3 8 inch. Some patterns are 5 8 some are 3 8 I think Friday Pattern Company is generally 3 8 though. One of the things that they do in their instructions is something that, um, is one of the things I've really liked about Rebecca Page patterns is they have um, an overview where it just lists all the steps, like one through, you know, how many are there? Um, it just lists the steps in like one to two sentences, steps one through 30. So if you are a more experienced sewist and you don't need super detailed instructions, that's on pages 15 and 16, and you can just zip through it one through 30. If you are somebody who needs more detailed instructions, then that comes right immediately after the super condensed version of instructions. I tend to use a mixture of the two. I start with the overview and go through until I get to a step that I need a little bit more help with, and then I jump to the detailed version. Um, I will tell you that the instructions for this pattern, I, I can't remember how many Friday Pattern Company patterns I've sewn. I sewed the Wilder gown. Um, I'll put down here, I'll go and look at what I've sewn, um, but I definitely sewed the Wilder gown. Um, and again, I had to lengthen the bodice on that. Um, and I feel like I've done another one, but I can't think of what it is. But I remember their instructions being very good. I didn't have to go, they do have a sew along tutorial on their YouTube page. I will link that in the description box in case you're somebody who prefers to just follow along a video rather than looking and reading instructions. I prefer to read the instructions unless I get to a part where I just can't understand the written word and I need to see what somebody's doing. I didn't end up needing to do that for this pattern because the instructions were really clear. The only tricky parts are really the, um, the neckline, which really isn't tricky. Um, they uh, on the both the front pattern piece and the front facing, there is a dot marking. When you're sewing the front facings together, you start at the spot where the dot is, um, and you sew, sorry, you, when you're sewing the front facing to the bodice, you start where the dot is. So you're not starting at the bottom of the facing, you're starting where the dot is. And you sew that all the way around. Um, and you know, you're gonna be very careful because you've got the collar is sandwiched in between the facing and the yoke. Um, I guess that part's tricky. It didn't feel tricky to me, um, but because the instructions were good, you just had to go really slow to make sure you weren't um, capturing extra fabric or puckering anything. But from a complexity standpoint, it wasn't really complex. It was just, you had to be careful to make sure you weren't getting anything jumbled up. Um, but you sew from the dot all the way around to the dot. And then these pieces of the facing are hanging loose. Then you come in and you clip up to the dot um, and then you sew the seam. I can't show you because the facing is sewn down, but then you sew the last little seam of the facing together. Then you fold that back and then you sew the front seam together all the way up to the dot from the other side. So you're basically sewing up to the dot from both sides, but just not over. Um, and then 
um, you fold the facing down and then you edge stitch it all the way around so that it stays in place. Um, so that part is kind of tricky, but honestly, I had no problem following the detailed instructions whatsoever on that. I mean, the other tricky part, I guess, would be um, the yoke, but it's not really tricky. They use the burrito method. It is is a lined yoke, so you have um, the inside is, um, is finished, and they use the burrito method. So I've done that several tam times now with different patterns, and I'm not bunched up by it um so i think that 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 worked out pretty well all right so when this pattern first came out i was really excited about it so much so that when i downloaded it i actually printed out the pdf and taped it together and i rarely ever do that because i hate taping pdf patterns together i usually send my pdf patterns to pdf plotting to have them printed i didn't have anything else that um, was like not already printed that I was eager to sew. So I'm like, let me just print this and get going. It was only 20 something pages. So it really wasn't that terrible to tape together. Um, but yeah, I, it's not something I generally do. So that tells you how excited about it I was. And again, other than the length, I'm very happy that I have sewn this pattern. Um, I, will definitely be sewing this again. I will be taking out a tape measure against this shirt or this shirt and figuring out exactly where I want the front to hit. Um, I might actually attempt an FBA on the next one because maybe that'll make the difference for me. Um, because uh, although this is boxy, so generally boxy tops, I didn't think you needed an FBA and I could be off base on that. Um, but that could be the problem. So I think I need to practice FBAs anyway. I should be doing them on a much more regular basis than I am. I'm just a little intimidated by them. I've watched videos. I know they're not terribly difficult, um, but I did one one time and I flubbed it up. And so I just feel like I need to practice. So maybe that's what I'll do before I add any more length is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trace my pattern out. Now that I've got my setup with my tracing paper on the wall, should make it easy. I'm going to trace it out. I'm going to do an FBA and let's see if that does the trick. If you have made this pattern, I'd love to hear what your experience was, what your thoughts are. If you're interested in making the pattern, I'd love to know what your, if you have any questions about it, I will be happy to answer them if they weren't answered in this video. I will tell you that Christine from Christine Sews A Lot is also working on making a Donnie shirt. We're not doing a collaboration or anything. We just both happen to really like the style and um, I know that she is cutting one out soon and making it. So I'm looking forward to hearing what her thoughts are on it. Um, I did give her the heads up that it runs short, so I'm sure that she'll make the appropriate adjustments prior to um, bringing you her thoughts, unlike me, because I just have no patience. Anyway, that's all I have today. Wherever you are, I hope the weather's amazing. I hope you're able to get some sewing in, and I will talk to you next time. Bye! <music>